installment. I'm not sure what this was all about. Uh, welcome back to the last installment of the day uh, here at Crafters TV. It's Craft Fault. My oh my, we had a Craft Fault this morning. It was absolutely so incredibly busy. Uh, we've had sellouts already. I'll tell you more about that as we go through the show. Now, I am not here on my own. Oh, no. Steering the ship, arguably, for the next hour, I would say. Uh, Fiona's here with me. How are you, Fiona? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm troubled if I'm the one steering, but I am absolutely <laughs> fine. We could go anywhere, but that's great. Why don't you drop a topic of conversation into the chat and see whether you can get us off topic? Oh, I don't there's an much. idea. I mean, we're already <laughs> off topic talking about getting off topic, Fiona. So uh, I think you've nailed it there immediately. <laughs> uh, Alison from Brooklyn saying hello from New York City, the big apple. Hello. Ooh, uh, Ray's in Tennessee. Sally's uh, in from Braunton as well uh, in North Devon too. Uh, if you want to say hello, you want to drop into the chat, maybe you've got a bit of salacious gossip you want to share with us, you do it. Do it right now. Crafters TV over on Facebook. Uh, Crafters Companion if you are on YouTube. If you want to watch and shop at the same time, you can do that on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu, uh, depending on where you are from. Now, very, very busy show uh, earlier today. Uh, we have had sellouts, um, but I'm going to start with, uh, we're going to run through uh, what well, we do have left we've got this collection available for you we're starting off with Sarah signature which is awesome uh, now the great thing is uh, about this is that you've got a really nice sort of comprehensive bundle of stuff in here uh, so you've got the shaker card stamps and dies uh, you've got the wedding cake the, the cake shaped um, stamps and dies which are awesome uh, you've also then got the stamps you've got the frames two sentiments down here sorry Oh, we've moved those around. There was sentiment there and sentiment. They've moved from earlier. You've got a sentiment and a sentiment there. And then here, you've got these beautiful little floral embellishments uh, to go with as well. Honestly, they do it just to test me. They really do. Uh, and it's all half price in this craft art as well, which is absolutely epic. Uh, but of course, platinum members. Well, actually, do you know what? Everyone's getting it more than half price because you've all got some sort of uh, Club Inspire discount, which is fantastic. So uh, wherever you are in Club Inspire, you're going to get extra discounts. Platinum members, uh, you'd get this for $25.17 or $31.57, uh, which is awesome. If you don't already own these items, I think at this kind of price, you definitely need to grab them. Uh, Fiona, you've got some beautiful yeah. bits over there made using these, haven't you? Absolutely, because I just think when you see these samples, you realise what incredible, incredible opportunities you're getting. Look at that fabulous shaker die. This is great. You could use it with the rose gold, but that is for all those parties that have been postponed this year that we're all going to have next year. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this one too. So you can see with the, that is just a, a glass full of fizz. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Now, look at these. You've got the stamps and dies here and you've got cakes and all sorts in there. There's cakes, there's cones, oh, there's cake. cupcakes. You've got these beautiful, beautiful rose dies in there as well. And you're getting the word love. But again, look at this. How pretty is that? Gorgeous. And I love this one. Um, Thank you for being the best sister in the world. You've got those stamps, haven't mm. you, in the collection. You're getting that fabulous cake. You're getting the roses as well. And look at the ornate. Now, this is the ornate frame. Isn't that stunning? With the roses and the dyes that you're getting in the side there. I just think these are sensational. They're going to work with any paper and card you've got at home. And certainly that's what we're going to be playing with in the show. They're just brilliant. Mm, they really are absolutely awesome. Uh, Karen wants to know, is there, a, is there any sort of hidden meaning behind your necklace, Fiona? What a great question. Is there a hidden meaning? Is there any if sort you of can hidden find meaning? one, Sorry? Share, if they can find one, share it with me. Yeah, I love it. It's a great Yeah, necklace. I mean, it, it's just fun, isn't it? I just like the bright colours. You know me. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, this is not usually the colour I wear, but I thought, yes, well, if I'm going to wear no, that colour, it. I'm going to have something bright and... Cheerful. Quite colourful. Absolutely. But if you can find a message in there, let me know what it is. Oh, let's just make something up. <laughs> something. Never let the truth get in the way of a good story. That's what That's I say, Fiona. Uh, Esaf is saying hi from northern New York. Hello. She says she loves us all at Crafts Companion. We all love you as well, Esaf. Don't really worry about that. Michelle says, Fiona, you're making me want to make a shaker card. Shaker card. Oh. Uh, you can do it when you've got that collection. Uh, right. Also the embossing folder collection oh my these are awesome you've got uh, french lace textured swirls and ornate lace in here let me show you some of the things uh, that you're going to be making uh, here with these 
uh, from things like craft metal, of course, uh, whether you love doing your inky backgrounds, whether you're going to get your gilding waxes involved, maybe you want to emboss vellum, whether you're going to do different card styles, whether you want to do uh, things like your um, uh, coloured card stock, your Centura Pearl, think about getting really inky. Uh, there's a whole host. I just love, oh, this is the one that I loved earlier that we did a copy of. Where is it? This one just here. Look at this. Absolutely uh, gorgeous. You really can go to town with these. And I think what's so awesome about it, it's £10.48 to get three of our most popular embossing folders. Um, they, well, you haven't seen them for a while. Uh, they are a sort of older um, embossing folder. We do have a little bit of stock left on these, but if you did miss them previously and you thought they were gone forever, they are back, uh, but not for long. Uh, now, we also have the colour tints uh, available for you as well, uh, which are awesome. They were the star of the show this morning. They were very busy. I know Fiona uh, really likes them. Uh, so 40% uh, of a really big stock here uh, has sold out and gone, and they are very, very busy. So do make sure uh, you grab those. Uh, awesome. 12, 24 is in total. Uh, and I know Fiona's got some yeah. awesome bits over there that you can do with these. They're incredible because what you've got here is tinted graphite. So think the, the lead pencil, you know, the HB pencil you used at school. It's that plus the most incredible pigment. Now, these are water-based, so you can use them like you would your aqua pencils, which means if you want to pull that colour out with a sparkle pen, Yes, you can. Doesn't that look fantastic on the craft card? But you can also wet these down and use them to stamp with and make your own backgrounds. I mean, look at this. This is from the Nature Collection. That whole card is made from one colour. Awesome. Isn't that just stunning? Or if you want to colour and colour an image with them, you can do something like that. What you get in here is you get a kind of muted vintage look. I mean, they are just delicious to use. I'm, I'm, I, my jewel's on the floor that these are actually in the show mm. today because I adore my set and they're one of those go-tos for me. If you bought the Knitwits collection and you wanted something to work with the stamps in the Knitwit collection, the colours in here, ooh, perfect. Mm, they really do work well together. Uh, Fiona's, Fiona's message in the necklace is, I am a very creative queen with a colourful personality. That's what it means, absolutely. Uh, which is very true of her. That's what snooze you lose your Sonia <laughs> uh, seems to make out of um, the, uh, the necklace. Let's dive in and have a look at all the other awesome stuff that we've got in stock still on the show. Tiny, tiny, tiny amount of these left over from the earlier show. If you want them, they are the foil stamps and cut dies. Uh, they are the radiating ones uh, and you're gonna get both sets of there. Be happy and love you. Half price as everything is in this Craft Folk show. Uh, we've also got the collage stamps available for you on the show. So you've got in here Born to Fly, uh, is your first one and you've got cherish every moment as well 9.99 or 14.95 to get yourself both of those is that it is everything else <laughs> everything else is gone one two three four we've got five things left fiona that is it Excellent. if we sell out what on earth are we going to do uh, do we get do we go home no we don't go home early we have to just keep <laughs> going until the end apparently do you know what we'll do, we'll just we'll just find something we'll do techniques and all sorts with these embossing folders we, we will we... find something to do but if you have not got these, now what Sarah did was she put together our all time most popular 3D embossing folders into an incredible, incredible collection. Now you have got in here our three most Some people popular are thinking, designs. Do they, I've just had a question come in Fiona yes. about these. Someone's saying, do we pick as in, no, you is get it one? All of like them. we pick which one we want and then you, send us all of, them. all of them you get all of them all of them the saving on these is immense absolutely immense because you are getting every single one of them now look if i open this one up this is a, an absolute favorite of mine it was the first one i ever saw which was 3d look at that you can see immediately you pick up this folder that that is something it means business, special something something special so we're going to load that with a bit of black card and we're going to have a play with that i've got some cardstock already cut so we'll load that with some black card now then you've got your french lace now this is going to go beautifully with sarah's um collection those bits that we've got i would mm. have almost put this in that collection now i just want to make sure i've got my cardstock i've got a piece now this is a piece of centura pearl just 
metallic gold card in there and that is the design that it's going to emboss so we'll put that to one side and then finally we've got this delicious swells and I want to show you how this is going to look on mirror card because mirror card makes this come to life did we sell out of the crafty fun um, mirror card pack oh when oh well didn't even have it in stock didn't even have it in yeah, stock didn't this even morning. make it to the show didn't even make it to the first show uh, that one okay so we've got our three folders loaded now when you're using your 3d folders this is what you do because they are thicker than a normal folder you use one of your clear cutting plates like so right here there we go and you're going to use your frosted and possibly your magnetic or your metal if you want a deeper emboss i'm using the magnetic because i know that works well with this machine so you pop that on pop that through and hey presto you you get the most beautiful now this could be a frame for a sentiment for example or maybe this could actually just be the background layer onto which you're going to put a beautiful ribbon because it works so well take a look at how this is transformed by the way if you look at that awesome look at that you've got in the background you've got this incredible wood paneling incredible wood paneling behind these sensational swirls the detail is just immense you know even that with your alcohol pens on would look stunning 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 you can see how you could just fussy cut around that if you wanted to and have that as a photo frame gorgeous yeah you're absolutely. also getting here we go now this is the one that i really think I really, 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 really think if you have got the rose gold, the rose gold, I mean, I'm saying get this one, but get all of them because they are just a sensational, sensational way of getting them. There's so much you can do with embossing folders and I'm going to play to my heart's content because I absolutely can. Now, oh, look, I've debossed it. Right, I'm going to emboss it now as well. So you keep looking at that. <laughs> I quite what like sometimes, I think the debuff gives it a bit of a different uh, feel, doesn't it? It does, it does. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach behind me, get another piece of card, which Fabulous. is exactly the same. Now, which way? And I'll just make sure. Right, we'll put it in that way. And then we're going to run it through again, because I want you to see the difference, because it is gorgeous. I'll tell you what, if I do this the same way twice, <laughs> we'll just put it down to a lack of coffee. <laughs> uh, Dieta <laughs> says uh, she thinks the necklace means smile, enjoy and enjoy life, because yes. life is full of beautiful colours. Yes. There you go, I like that one. I love that. Okay, here we go. Now, look, you can see the two different ones here. So this, this one here, that is your emboss. Now, look how sensational that is. Look at the detail that you've got in that lace in the foreground. Then you've got these incredible roses. Can you see why I said with the rose gold collection, that would be awesome. But even the deboss, you know, if like me, you do it the other way around. Look at that. Even the deboss mm. I like. I'm liking it. It gives me a different look. But whichever way you choose, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really awesome. Very, Imagine very Imagine that one. Oh, we're going to do that later on. We're going to do that on craft card with some ink in the folder. Oh, my word. I think that's going to look sensational. We've got to do that. Absolutely. Joe. We've got to do that. Absolutely, we will. Um, lots of you talking about the embossing folders still. Are the embossing folders in the Rose Gold Collection? No, they are not. They are standalone on their own. You get all three of them for the price you can see there. 1048 or 1492, which is awesome. Uh, I love the tints. Also, matter of fact, I've been working with them this morning because of loving that vintage feel of the colour. Are on those colour tint pens, pencils, sorry. Excuse do, me. Do you know, I'm just thinking, you're not even paying for two folders. No. Nope. These folders are normally six ninety nine each. I'm sure they are. Yeah, well, twenty ninety seven is what you should be paying for these. Uh, so oh, my word. Uh, you'd be paying about six six ninety nine, seven four uh, yeah, six ninety nine each is what they should be. Uh, you're paying ten forty eight, yes, yeah, so you're getting them for half price, which is quite fabulous. Wow, wow. Now look at that. I'm I'm gonna put some I'm going to put some gilding wax on that but look at it even before i do you can see that honeycomb wire work in the background you can see that incredible incredible lace work on the top and then in the mid ground you've got all that stitching and to wake that up all you're going to do is to cover it 
with awesome. gilding wax. Uh, Lynn says she loves the embossing folders. They really turn a plain piece of cardstock into something stunning. Uh, Dita wants to know what cardstock is the best to use for basic card making when not using markers, just maybe basic stamping and card construction, Fiona. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stamping card, a white stamping card. Fabulous all round card. If you just want white card, go for that. It's one of the great construction weight cards and you've got the versatility that you can stamp onto it as well. It's, it's a good all rounder. If you want something with a bit of color, then of course go for some of the Centura pearls that awesome. we've got on the show because they are sensational. Now look how a little bit, a tiny amount of wax. By the way, if you went for our Explorer kit, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and have a look at the launch party. We've got an Explorer kit in there, which has got black card and a gilding wax. Now the gilding wax in the Explorer kit is the Renaissance. Awesome. So if you bear with Caller while I grab the Renaissance, because what you can do with these, my, my husband hates that phrase. What, my, bear with cooler. Bear my with. My mum says it bear all with. the time. Bear with cooler. Yeah, yeah. I, and I do. I do it just to vex yeah, him I'd now. Say, is that the not? Line, I say, <laughs> quite a lot. Oh, hold the line. <laughs> <laughs> now, look. You can mix and match your gilding waxes. Come and have a look at this, because that just transports this wow. card. Does it not? Yeah, it looks really gorgeous, doesn't it? And you leave that to dry off a smidge. And what you can do, it's probably not quite dry enough yet, but we're going to give it a go because, look, what you can do once it's sunk in a bit, look, can you see? Oh, wow. You can buff it. Now, look, I hope that's shining even yeah, more yeah, now. Is it look shining? Yeah, it's that. shining. You can really see it there. Look at that. That is just awesome, is it not? Really, Absolutely really gorgeous. fantastic. Uh, and also, you know, such a really great uh, 1048. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, do you know what? I'm going to be a bit, you're not going to really, you know, splash out. You don't need to. 1048 for three brand new embossing folders that are going to be able to do so much for you. Uh, you've probably got gilding waxes, you've got inks, you've got all the other things uh, that you already need uh, in order to pop with this to make them absolutely uh, stand out. So do grab those. Now, we're going to move on next to the colour tint pencils. Uh, so, so busy on these. They are a, a, a graphite watercolour pencil, is the way we describe them. Uh, you've got two packs here, of course. Uh, you've got the Nature's, 12 of those, and you've also got the Primary Collection uh, as well. You're going to get both tins. They come in the tin as well. Uh, so they make lovely, lovely gifts if you're just wanting to put them away. Uh, 16 99 or 22 95 is what you should be paying for one. That gets you two sets. However, Platinum members, 13 59 or 18 36 which is unbelievable really uh, to get them for that kind of price uh, you're looking at about 675 per set as a platinum member really really fantastic value uh, for money uh, and of course we've got our color blend pencils they are awesome we've also got our aqua blend pencils uh, also fantastic but these sit these hit differently don't they to those fiona they sit differently i think if you had both of those you could definitely complement them with these would you agree yeah absolutely because what these do is they give you a sort of subtle sheen so i've just opened my two tins which are sitting here so I have got my nature and my primary ones just there, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. So what you're going to do, the thing that I would suggest you do straight away is get them home. I'm going to take this one here. Come here. Come here. I'm missing my long nails. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the green. So what have How I got there? How long have you not had the long nails for? Oh, a while. <laughs> Since lockdown began, really? so I can't do my own, so they have to keep be kept nice and short. Right. Now, look, you can just scribble some colour, and you might be looking at that colour and going, well, oh, it's okay, Fiona, but it's a bit of a brownie colour. I'm just going to do the same on this piece of craft card I've got going on there as well. And what card go. stocks are you, are you using here? Craft card, and what's the white one, Fiona? Watercolour. Awesome. Yeah, it's our watercolour card. And then I've got the blue going on there. You can see I'm just scribbling down a piece of colour there and then scribbling it down there. So when, when these really come to life, let me move those out of the way. I wondered where I put my brush. When these really come to life is when you add a bit of water. So I've just got an almost dry brush, just damped it off 
Now watch what happens. Oh my oh, word. Look at that colour. Look oh, at the awesome, wonder. I mean, yeah, just incredible. And the colour will go forever. Look at this. This is why a watercolour card is so good. It just... They're almost a bit sketchy, aren't they? If that they was a are. way to describe them. You know, like sketch... You could definitely draw with these, I yes. think. Whereas maybe with our aqua blend, you wouldn't maybe draw so much. Whereas these are, 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 are a bit like a pencil, aren't they, really? They are. Like a regular pencil. They, they really are. And it, it's just that bonus. Now, look at the colour of the end of my brush. That is how much pigment is in those. Now that's not going to transfer. It might stain, but it's not yeah. going to transfer. But that's down to the quality of the incredible pigment. Now this brown color, look. Oh my word, that's oh lovely. my word. So think about, do you know when we make palettes of color to take with us when we can go out and color? Yeah. You can do this. You can do this with these. So let me just... So you, would you... Scribble. You put pencil over pencil over pencil and then introduce the water, could you? It's yeah. like that. So look, if I scribble down, let's yeah. say I am nipping out and I want, I want to take my colouring stuff with me, but I don't want to take both tins of pencils because they're going to weigh too heavy on my bag. And anyway, just not, just not fun. So I'm going to take a piece of card onto which I have scribbled my colours just there. Right. We might have a yellow as well. I love the yellow in here. Right. Now, the yellow will not look yellow. It's called maize. And when you first put it on your cardstock... Maize? Maize. Okay. It looks kind of that colour. Yeah. But trust me, that is a beautiful honey sandstone colour. So, if I get grab... Here. I've got a little picture here. Awesome. I'm going to try and keep both of these in shot so you can see what I'm doing. Fantastic. There we go. So I've got my little picture or my little sketch that I've made. And what I'm going to do, let's, let's make it even more. I'm taking my water brush. So I haven't even got to carry water with me. All I've got is my water brush and my piece of cardstock. And I'm going to colour this image. I pick up a little bit from here and transfer it onto my image and use this as my palette to colour with. How fabulous. Isn't that gorgeous? So I've got a little bit of colour going on there. Maybe we're just going just to wipe that off. We're maybe going to have a little bit of green going on here. A little bit more. There we go. Oh, what just, a fabulous idea. Isn't this it is a here, lovely man. idea? And it gives you that wonderful subtle look. So here is that. Oh, now look at this for a for, you know those sandstone walls you get in the Cotswold? Oh, yeah. Where you look at those. So in the villages around here where you get those old stone buildings, look at that. That colour is perfect for it, is it not? It really is. It's and and can you, stunning. Could you blend your own... Could you blend your own colours, not off of the page, uh, Fiona? I mean, obviously now I'm guessing you could dip a bit into one colour and then go into another, pick two up and then put them together. Yeah. But could you put two colours on the paper over each other and yes. then bring them together with the water to make a new colour? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. So look at this. So if we want a few shadows, we're just going to fill in and start to get some texture going on in this wall just by adding a little bit of this brown colour going on there. Can you see? I mean, it's just... Delicious, isn't it? Absolutely I mean, really awesome. Really gentle, beautiful. It is that thing for sitting out in the garden or by the window if you live in an apartment, seeing the world going on outside and just watching what's happening. Look, we're even going to have our little notice board going on in there as well, and maybe a little bit going on with our trees. And of course, whatever you decide to do is entirely up to you. But the joy of this is if you want that colour darker, what you can do when that has dried, if you go over, let me pick up a bit more, and you just pick up another layer. So with watercolours, how you get that deeper colour is to then put on your second layer of colour. So you can keep building up the and layers. And you've used so if a you want fraction of that pigment, haven't you? A minute, minute amount. Of course, you can colour direct on, but isn't that looking good? Isn't awesome. that that's looking really pretty? So you can use them as a palette as well. So 
you can also use them, obviously, for colouring in and stamping. So we'll do a bit of that as well, if you fancy it. Absolutely. Yes, please. Getting really, really busy on these. Uh, you guys are loving them at the moment. Uh, Sharon says, I've always wondered about these pencils. They are much brighter than I imagined. Mary Pat says, one of the first items I ever purchased from Crafters TV were these pencils. Pencils? Wash a bit. Wash a, wash a pencil. Uh, pencils. Uh, <laughs> Yvonne says, may I say, Fiona is happiness personified. Isn't that a lovely thing to say? I'm going um, to get you to write that to my husband. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and tell him, yes, right. your, your wife is a little ray of sunshine, honest. We'll send that We'll send that comment to him. We'll get it emailed over. Johnny, if you can take care of that. Uh, that would be awesome. Have you got these pencils? Uh, I know Snoozy Loozy old Sonia says she owns them. Uh, Sonia, I'd love to see a picture if you've uh, got one and you want to ping it over to us. That would be awesome. Studio Crafts Companion. .co.uk. If you want to get your orders placed, which I would recommend doing if you're after these pencils, it's getting really busy. Uh, you can, of course, pop yourself over to crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Uh, Michelle sent us in some pictures from the stuff that uh, she's been making with the rose gold collection that's on the show. That's awesome. I love that frame. And you've got the love one there as well with that little butterfly, uh, which I think is absolutely uh, gorgeous. Um, a lot of you are talking about how much you love all the Spectrum Noir products as well. Um, this is great. Now, where do we get the beautiful printer colour? I think uh, Pamela's eyeing up your uh, image that you had there for that last demo. That was a country churchyard. It, that is a while back. You may just find it in the grey rubber stamps. It might be around. It was originally one of Sheena's, so it might still be around. It was called Country Churchyard, but there are, there, are, there are some gorgeous country ones. There was a Country Life collection that we did, which had very similar Im images in as well. There awesome. was a CD of that, which had CD stamps on as well, so you may be lucky and find that in our downloads once Ooh. or twice. But talking about stamps we do have in stock, which I really think... If you want to be playing with stamps, I'm saying right now, oh my word. Now, oh, this is such a great mix of sort of <gasps> stamp styles in each one of these. These Fiona. are amazing, amazing. You can tell how much I love them because this is my stamp set. Look how well Very loved well used. they I mean, I are. I can't even work out what they are from here. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> so this is the most incredible rose. So what you get in each set is you get your main focal piece. You get your background stamp, then you'll get your embellishments, and then you get your sentiments as well. So if we just look at Cherish Every Mo Moment, you're getting this huge rose head, which you can see I've used a lot. You are so special to me. Smaller roses, Cherish Every Moment, these wonderful distressed splats, and this is almost cracked ice. Gorgeous, absolutely stunning for backgrounds and corners. And you've also got friends like you are precious and few. So you're getting that set and you're getting this set. Now, again, this is a like, oh my word. And I will use these separately. This musical background, I have used so much because it just adds texture and adds a layer to your cards. You've got, life is too short to wait, absolutely. You've got, you were born to fly, fly high, that beautiful swallow, the feathers, and then you've got, it almost seems like your coffee stains, more splats going on there, more smudges. So you don't have to use them all. You can use them very clean, but these are gorgeous and what we're going to do is we're going to play with it now I'm just gonna have a play <sighs> I am just going to have a play <laughs> this could go anywhere it might turn out looking good but it might equally turn out looking different but you know I'm kind of inspired by those um, nitwit colors we had earlier so I'm going to go for those nitwit colors so I'm going to go for grass green dusky lilac and vintage rose Awesome. And what we're going to do is we are just going to scribble a bit. I don't know how this is going to work out. But I'm we're excited find to out. see where we go with this. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've got no idea. <laughs> we have a bit of that dusky lilac going in there. Very suffragette colours, lilac and green. But there we go. That, that one's going in there, and the vintage rose. You can see why I end up having to take these all home and sort them out again, because they go <laughs> back in where they go back. Here we go. Now, so that's just a lovely scribbly background. I'm going to get my nice big flat brush, and we're just going to start washing oh, these colours out and see what happens. And we're going to use this as our base layer to do something with. Awesome. Not sure what, but we'll 
do we'll something work it out. with it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, quite, it's a lot more. It's a lot more subtle the green than I was expecting, actually. Isn't it? Very, very. I mean, you can make that deeper. Yeah. By putting more colour on, but I just wanted a sort of washy background Fantastic. going on. There we go. And what we'll just do is, oh, I do like those colours. I do like those colours. It is very, very vintagey, isn't it? Really very gorgeous. vintage. -y. It looks like it's something. It looks like something's moving past very fast. Is what it looks like. <laughs> what I mean, there's a speeding I've, train. I've, I've, I've drawn a blur. <laughs> <laughs> I've drawn. I've drawn the countryside going past when you're on the yeah, train. Absolutely. That's what it is. <laughs> I love it. So I'm just going to dry this off because then we're going to start layering some bits and pieces. On awesome. there. I don't know if you want to go through the deal just yeah. while I'm drying this off. Absolutely. Uh, these pens and pencils are the second thing I bought from Crafts Companion on HC. It was on auto ship. I love them so much. I bought the whole set. Uh, Pamela says it's able, it's amazing to be able to get answers to questions uh, so quickly and easily. Th uh, I think you are the best. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Uh, if I want to get out on a countryside walk after watching uh, after watching Fiona paint the country aside. Uh, and Samantha says, what is the brush? What are the best brushes you can use for these? I'm guessing, Fiona, it depends on what sort of style or what effect you want to achieve, does it? Okay, you will find on the website, I'm fairly sure, we will have the Royal and Langnickel brushes. I love them because... They're all in stock. What they are is they're an acrylic brush, but they bounce back. And if you're unaccustomed to water colouring, don't start with a sable brush. Just, just do yourself a favour. Work up to it if you want to in the end, but don't start with it. Start with a good acrylic. And though all of those Royal and Langnickel ones we've got on the website, be them the flat brushes, which, by which I mean these ones, these flat brushes, will, will give you that lovely wash. And look, this is why I love them. It doesn't matter how much I abuse them. Let me move that in so you can see. No matter how much I abuse them, I get this nice, sharp... There we go. Oh, nice. Sharp edge. And equally, this is my round brush, and that gets very abused. And again, I've got that beautiful, beautiful point that keeps coming. Don't worry about the staining. That's not going to harm it at all. There we go. So I've dried that off, and now we are going to do a bit of stamping, I think, and start. I have no idea what we're going to create. Something interesting. Something gorgeous, Fiona. It's always something gorgeous when you're here. Don't you worry about that. Uh, Tammy, sir, sir, uh, Tammy, Mo Tammy, sir, says I love the more muted uh, colours of these. Yeah, absolutely. I think they are paired back a bit. They are graphite-y, aren't they? That's they the whole really place. Are. Uh, that's the whole point of them. I know so many of you love all of the pencils that we bring you uh, in the Spectrum Nile ranges. What you don't normally see is the opportunity to buy a whole collection of anything, really, ever, for £16.99 or £22.95. However, if you are a Club Inspired Platinum member, £13.59 is your price, or £18.36 to get the whole collection of these. I think they're great. Okay. And you know what? I'd say multi-order of these. Get a couple of sets. Pack a set away for a, an emergency Christmas yeah. present or an emergency birthday present, or maybe you know a crafty friend that could do with a pick-me-up. We can send you the bill. We can send these to them. We absolutely can do that uh, you can just change the shipping address uh, at the checkout and we'll send them wherever you want us to uh, so I think they are really awesome uh, for a whole host of different reasons especially at this price now look I've scribbled quite a lot of color on there and I'm picking it up with my flat brush because what I want to do is to make a quite intense color because then what I'm going to do and my stamp may no, be a bit dirty stamp, I have no idea yeah my stamp may be a bit mucky but we'll give it a go and see what happens. And we'll get something. We just might not get as pretty as... Well, oh, that really is a smudge, isn't it? I've got that very wet. Let's see if I can do another one and get more of the detail going on. Yes, look. Oh, awesome. Love that. Really good. That's fine. I'm going to carry on working with that one. So there we go. Can you see how good that's getting? So all we're doing is we're using the stamp to build up layers of colour. So I'm going to go in now with that corner because I love it. So yep. you could carry on doing that with your, with, your pens, with your pencils and just layering up the colour. For speed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of my water reactive inks because they're going to play nicely with this too. So awesome. I'm just going to sit behind the counter. 
Yvonne just thought she bought everything she needed and wanted, uh, and then we've done this to her apparently. Uh, oh, but she says you. she needs them. Absolutely. I mean, sixteen ninety nine or twenty two ninety five. I mean, there's not many awesome things you can buy for that that are going to last you ages. Uh, Susan says I love the portable palette tip. I dislike taking my tins with me, so thank you for that one. Um, the brushes are the bee's knees, says Sally Bond. I've never lost a bristle. Uh, I think yeah. a lot of them are in stock now over on the website. Another, other, um, we really struggle to keep them in stock, but now is a great chance for you uh, to stock up on them so do go and find those what ink pads sorry did you say you were using here? okay i'm using the water reactive ones awesome just to get a bit going on in here a little bit more swiftly because i want you to see a whole variety look at that oh, look awesome. at that that is that crackle it is amazing 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 it just automatically adds the most incredible incredible layer to your project so we're just going to line that up and as i say i don't know what i'm doing i'm just playing but they are gorgeous so you can see we've already got something going on there Fantastic. and you might just cut out a rose and then maybe decoupage that onto there as well or now <gasps> that background that background that background that background now, I love these. The we're stamps, having, by the way, are the... fantastic quality. Yeah, they're really great, aren't they? We're having all the weather today, Fiona. We, we are. had snow this morning. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is uh, it's actually raining so hard in the northeast that you can hear it on the studio roof. That is how hard it is raining. It is tipping it down. Uh, it's raining cats and dogs, as we'd say. Uh, in here decision. in the UK. Oh, we're having all the weather, which is awesome. Uh, Beth says, I love it every time I see these pencils used. I always learn some new techniques, which I'm thankful for. Um, Lynn's definitely going to add these to her collection. Dieta saying, I'm learning some new techniques today. I'm going to have to try these out. Uh, I love this with the stamp set as well. I yeah. would not have necessarily thought about using these two products together, Fiona. And it is perfect. It really is lovely. I'm just wondering which way the no Do you know what? If, if the notes are upside down, we'll turn the card up the other way. <laughs> there we go. Because I just want them very subtly in the background. Can you see? I don't want a whole heap. So people are necessarily reading it. I just want another background texture going on there. And then I'm going to have a look and see what big sentiment stamp I have going on. So... It's looking absolutely gorgeous. I Karen says, since the pencils are being used as watercolour, what's yes. the difference between these and the Aqua Blend pencils? Great question. Okay, so these are graphite based. So, um, who, who's the lady who, I didn't catch her name? Karen. Karen. Karen, right. These ones with the grey nibs, these are a graphite based. So what you've got in, the, in here is like your HB pencil. You imagine your HB pencil that you had at school when you're working with an ordinary lead pencil. Well, it's, it's graphite in there. And what we've done is add pigment to it. So you've got graphite, but then we've added pigment to it. So you're going to get that sort of grey tone, very, very subtly going on in there. Now, what I'm going to do, what I want... I, I, want, I want a thing, so I'm just going to... A thing. A thing it hadn't occurred in the front. to me, Fiona, that if you added water to a graphite pencil, it would wash out. I didn't realise in my head. So when we talk about them being graphite, in my head, a graphite pencil is not going to wash or water down. So I think it's just one of those things, once you get your head around it, um, you, you're really, you, it's an awesome, awesome concept. And as uh, Fiona said earlier, I think it's all about adding water to these, isn't it? it? Really that is. is when they really come alive and you get to see all the colours. It might be a great idea actually to swatch all of these, don't you think, Fiona, when you get them home on some card? Yes, I think it would be perfect. Sorry, I lost my stamping platform. That hesitation <laughs> was me going, I had it. How, how can you lose it? You, you were literally right there. So <laughs> I'm going to grab that rose because that's roughly where I want it to go. I'm going to go to my waterproof. Look, I mean, you can tell I love this. So this is the Cherish Every Moment rose. And this is a fabulous amount of waterproof dyeing. I just checked myself then and went, oh, please, <laughs> um, let so me have grabbed the right one. these, Fiona, would you do that when you got them Definitely. home? Definitely. So you got all the true colours. Absolutely, fantastic, fantastic call. So there we go, there's my rose, looking very shabby chic, but what we can do now is start to pick up and bring back 
some of those colours that we've got underneath. So this is why I dried it first, so that you can then go in and pick up some of these colours. Now I know I'm just having the best time because you know me when I Johnny get a colouring like a little mini colour me happy we're having. If <sighs> Fiona gets a chance to play with pens and pencils and inks and stamps and get messy, then you're just never going to, I mean, it's always good. That's what it was always going to be, wasn't it, Fiona? It, do you know, if you're going to let me loose in a studio when all the grown-ups have gone home, <laughs> <laughs> and it's, just, and it's just going to be me playing in there with these fabulous products, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get me doing what I love best, which is colouring, experimenting, and making a bit of a mess. And we're going to do, I'll tell you what, the, when I've just coloured a bit of this, a tiny bit of this, we're going to do a confetti background as well. So you could colour that all in, or then you could go in with your brush. If you we'll were new to this, would you recommend it's that. easier to start with a water brush or, an, or a regular brush, Fiona? I always say start with a regular brush, okay. only because you can control much more easily how damp they are. Awesome. Um, sometimes with a water brush, depending on the one you go for, it can be a, a wee bit challenging. It depends on the valves and all sorts, so go for okay, a no. water brush. But you know what? The bottom line is, have a bit of fun. Have a bit of fun, because it doesn't matter if this is the best work of art you've ever done, or whether it's something that you smile and you put in your art journal and you go, well, that was an interesting experiment. Yeah. Just do it. Just have a well, play I think this and looks don't get Fiona. too hung up on it. Yeah, but it's just scribbling and playing. So get that, those two stamp sets because they are gorgeous. And add in those pencils if you haven't already got them. I mean, that's looking good now, isn't it? Amazing. Stamp a sentiment on there and you've got a very shabby start of a card front going yeah, on. I, think I just think that's great fun. Yeah, and also, look, I mean, and the thing is, you sit down and do that, and you have a load of fun putting it together. I mean, yeah. even if you overcook it and you end up putting it in the bin, it's not always what it's about, is it, Fiona? Sometimes there is, so you've got to take pleasure in the journey sometimes. And you yes. know what? Maybe it doesn't go anywhere, that little crafty journey, but you have fun doing it, and that really is the point. Uh, if you want to use those pencils, uh, then details are on your screen for them, 16 99 or 22 95 uh, the stamps uh, as well would be a great addition to go with them. If you want to get hold of them, uh, you've got them here. And it's the Cherish Every Moment. That's the one with the floral element and also that crackle glazed background that you saw Fiona working with uh, as well. So that's that one just there. And then we've also got the Born to Fly as well. Uh, the great thing about these, of course, is that you've got the floral element, you've got the flourishes, you've got loads of different bits and bobs in there. Uh, and then you've got the Born to Fly in here as well with the feathers. Uh, you've also then got the musical background in there, which Fiona was using uh, the frame too. So absolutely uh, loads of stuff uh, in there uh, that you're going to be able to have a play around with, which is fantastic. So do grab those as well. So how much have you went for those in the UK? So you've 10 pounds for those. For 27 pounds, you'll be able to get both the stamp sets and both sets of pencils, wouldn't you? And actually, as a platinum member, you'd be looking at about £22, £23 wow. to get both. I mean, it's a really, really good value uh, that we're talking about. And that's what you come to expect from the craft art. We always have a theme for you. Uh, and I'll let you know in a moment uh, about uh, tomorrow's shows that are coming up uh, before the end of this show. So do stay tuned uh, for those. Uh, Rose Gold, some of you have been sending in pictures of them. Christine McCrone has sent in some pictures. Oh, I love that, Fiona. Don't you? I love that she's used the word edibles there as well. Oh, it doesn't... But this is what I love about Crafters Companion Things. You can take all sorts of different ranges and just play with them and just have fun. And they are going to look sensational. I love that, Carl, Christine. I really mm. do. A really, really awesome one there. Uh, I've got another one here as well that she's done for us. Oh, I love that. It's an exploding box there, isn't it? Gorgeous. Oh, wow. That is tremendous, a isn't it? One. I mean, just gorgeous. Uh, and also, Susan Rushton sent this in. She's also showing off. That's, that is a, uh, that's a low-key brag there from Susan that she's still got the paper pad. Wow. Because they're like hen's teeth, those paper pads now. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, it, Susan, no, I love it. Really, really love it. I'm glad that you've still got some of um, uh, some of those. Oh, Susan's going to be joining us for our first ever Craft Along show. We've got two 
we've got two new car shows coming up and I'm only allowed to give you the details about them tomorrow. I'm being good, aren't I? I'm being really good. Because usually I'm the one that gives all the secrets away and I tell you that there's two new shows called Craft Class and also Craft Long. But I haven't done it, so it's fine. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Uh, you'll have to wait until tomorrow, I'm sorry, yes. Uh, right. <laughs> And Susan will be there Friday, don't you worry about that. See, Johnny, I wasn't going to... That was Johnny leading me astray there. For the purpose of the... For the purpose of the... Uh, for the purpose of the tape, uh, I'd like to postpone this interview. Uh, now, oh, oh, let's go back it. through those rose gold elements because there is loads in here for you. And the great thing is, I love it. It's kind of like a highlight of uh, this signature collection, as you can see. So you've got a shaker card stamp and die element. You've got that wonderful cake stamp and die element. Then what you've got here are the stamps. You've got the frames. You've got a sentiment here. With those awesome little um, embellishing flowers there, which you're going to get loads of use out of. And you've got the love sentiment in there as well. 31.46 or 39.46 is a half price deal for you. Club Inspired Platinum members, the saving gets even better. You save nearly £40 or nearly $50 as a Platinum member. It's really fantastic value. It is I'd say of all the signature collections that uh, we've launched since I've worked here, it was the one that I was most excited about. I think it is really different. We didn't, there was no signature collections like this before we did it. We haven't done anything like it since. Uh, and I know you guys really, really absolutely love it as well. Uh, so if you want to get your hands on a really nice size collection of it, definitely grab it now in this craft fault. Uh, Fiona, um, yeah. it really was, it was such a huge success, wasn't it, when we launched it, this collection. It still continues uh. to be now. It's nice that we've still got enough of it in stock because once the signature collection item sold out, um, not the um, consumable element, so we may reorder and yeah. bring back in paper pads and those kind of things, but the actual hard, um, the actual, um, the hardware of the yes. deals, once it's gone, it's gone. So it's yes. great that we've still got some of this around. Absolutely. And you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use just the elements. I don't have the paper pad. I was one of those who missed out. So I'm going to I'm going to use some of the ones that I have got, like the birthday wishes. Now, you can see in here, you've got a cupcake with ferns. You've got a beautiful wedding cake going on here. I love this idea of a cornet of a cornet of flowers. I think they call that a posy. A posy or this really pretty. It looks like an ice cream cone to me. It does. It really does. So what you're getting in there, you're getting these fantastic stamps that you can see here. It's almost, that rose is almost a sort of Macintoshy rose. You've got dream big, sparkle more, shine bright, birthday wishes, cherry the way, the way you sparkle. Yes, absolutely. Big cake. There's the posy holder as well. And then you've got all of your foliage as well. You also get in this collection... Have a look here. You're getting your matching dies in rose gold. How gorgeous is that? So you're always going to know which ones they are to match that. So we're going to use this set. And we're also going to use the love die. And I'm also going to use that piece of card that I embellished, um, that I ran through the embossing folder. That's the very word, Fiona. OK, good. Right. Now, in the previous show, we had a set of pigment ink pads. And they are, have been designed to go with the Knitwick collection. But the colours work brilliantly with these. You have got in here, these are the pigment inks. You're getting pink tulip. Gorgeous you are getting one, isn't it? grasshopper. You are getting sandstone. I always want to say the TV show of grasshopper whenever which I one? say the word. You know the television show which, which had one? grasshopper in? It was a sort of kung fu one. I don't think I do. And then the smoke bloom. Those colours are going to work beautifully beautifully with knit whip but they're also going to work wonderfully Pop with that yourself back to launch party if you want to grab those because they were available in that show with a 20 uh, percent discount so go grab those uh, we're very busy in that earlier show now i am going to pop here we are do you know no matter where i put my board i keep i seem to move it out of the way don't i now when you're working with pigment ink the first thing you'll notice is these are a sticky ink and this is really really soft and spongy. my favorite ink pads these you know fiona they're fabulous all of them yeah, I really love these. So I think it's because I'm utterly obsessed with heat embossing. That is what it is. Yeah, absolutely. And this is such a pretty pale pink colour. Now, what I'm doing is I am just loading this stamp with that beautiful pink pigment ink. So you do that by lots and lots of light tapping on the stamp. Have a look, see how you're getting on. I still want to go a bit more because I want this to be a nice, sticky, full... A deep colour, well, deep as deep as a pale pink can be. 
Would, would you multi-stamp with something like this? Would you, uh, if you wanted to get it really intense with something like your magnetic base or something you like could that? Do. Yeah, you could do, you could do. Um, that would be a really good idea using the big platform and then multi-stamping it. But do you know what, this, this way works fine. You might have noticed me just before I started doing that, zip over my paper with an anti-static bag. That's because we're going to heat emboss, Joe. Fabulous. Here we go. So we're just going to press that down. Now the joy of pigment inks is they are what we call a sticky ink. So what that means is, oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's so pretty. So I've got my clear embossing powder. And that is such a pretty pink colour. That's going to work so well, I hope. I hope, I hope. So now what I'm going to do is just cover this with what I hope is my clear embossing powder. Just realised I should have checked it wasn't the white. No, it is my clear gloss. Phew. There we go. And then we're going to heat emboss that beautiful outline. What I love about our pigment inks is you still get all that fine detail. Now, not all pigment inks are equal. You won't get that with every single one out there. Just, just saying. But and our I'm ones, you will. They're like a natural compound, aren't they, the pigment inks? You could well be right. Yeah, I think Leanne uh, said they were a natural compound. Uh, look, whilst you're doing that, Fiona, yeah, because uh, I know you won't be able to hear me, so I can say what I want about you now. I'm only joking. I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> uh, if I was saying what I wanted to about you, Fiona, I'd still be saying that you're lovely and you are the embodiment of uh, sunshine and happiness in the studio today. Uh, tomorrow, up to 40% off craft folk, myself and Jan, in the morning. Don't miss out on that. Uh, then we've got a masterclass with stencils with myself and Jan. I have a feeling it's going to get a little bit mixed media and very, very inky Fiona. Uh, Fiona, will be, Fiona will be racing home in time to watch that one, I think. Uh, we've then got uh, Creative Cravings with myself and Sarah. We've got Aqua Tints. We've got Crafters Inspiration 29, Character Over the Edge. Absolutely loads. And then another chance at 7pm tomorrow, uh, UK time, to see the second instalment of Craft Fault with myself and Sarah. So uh, a really fabulous day of shows uh, ahead for you again tomorrow. Uh, and then also Thursday is a stellar lineup as well um, with a great cartload show. I love that, Fiona. Isn't it? Can you see how that's just caught... The glossiness there we go you can see beautiful so what we're going to do with that is we're going to cut it out now so we take our matching die and what we're going to do is just line that where we want to go and pop this in and we're just going to run through and cut it and do you know what i'm going to bring back the colored blend pencils in a moment and color this in because Fabulous. what that pigment ink and clearing gloss embossing powder has done is created a resist so it's going to make it really easy for me to color within the lines mm. ah you see what i did there yeah i do love a resist technique i mean there's so much you can do with these stamps does there really and i just is. think it just shows you how beautifully you know pretty much as much as possible we, we do it as much as possible yes uh, cro I enable you to use all your different collections together you know all of our collections and all of our products are designed by crafters for crafters and the point of that is that they understand how you get the most craft most amount of craftability out of everything that you buy from us here uh, at crafters companion uh, remember as well you can always go and check the independently verified reviews on our website for all of our products as well um if you're thinking about getting a product chat away in the comments most people in the comments of all all um most people in the comments are own a lot of people in the comments own these products already yes. uh, they were our crafters just like uh, you guys uh, sat at home. Um, a lot of people call me a tease, including Pamela R and Tammy Sir uh, as well. Me, a tease, absolutely not. It's just not in my <laughs> nature, Fiona, yeah. you know. It really, really isn't in my nature at all. Okay, so let's... I'm thinking about cake now. Am I the only one that's thinking about cake again? <laughs> Do you know what? It serves you right for starting to talk about food so early, so early on. on and i've yeah. got the, i've got the meanest meanest measly dinner tonight as well to look forward to it's just have not going to hit the spot i'm afraid oh, bless you so we're just going to have a little bit of color in the cherries maybe a tiny bit i'm not going to color the whole thing just popping a tiny bit in the roses there we go gosh i don't know where the time's gone do you know, Six I suddenly minutes. looked up and seen what the time was and gone, no, what, where, what happened? What happened? Where did the time go? This is just isn't right. We must have, do you know, I think it's because I'm used to those, um, that two hour show that we've done. 
and then suddenly suddenly we're not so i'm gonna i'm get, i might i might not put a card together i might just show you what this looks like but actually do you know what we've done well because we, we've had a look at all the things which we are on have there, what, the, we? all the things we have left i mean it really shows you doesn't it have we got the radiating stamp dies are they still there oh three oh, of those yes. left to go around those radiating stamp dies if they're wow. in your basket check them out because they are about to sell out as well that will mean we will only have if the radiating foil stamp dies shell out, we've got one, two, three, four products left. Wow. Uh, I mean, we have had an incredibly busy craft vault. And do you know what? I would argue that we've saved the most versatile and best till last because these colour stamps are gorgeous. You can see how beautiful this rose gold collection works. The embossing folders are just fantastic. And the tiniest amount of colour just makes these wonderful pencils come to life with a subtlety which is just delightful and works so well with that imagery. Can you see? It's just popped it just a little yeah. bit. Just popped it just a little bit. Do you know, I'm going to try and put this card, put something. I'm going to take that love die. Uh, Aisha says, is that right? I had to rewind a little bit. Did I hear two new craft along shows? Aisha, I couldn't possibly comment. Uh, <laughs> Marilyn Pico says, I love all of Sarah's collections. Just always so, so beautiful. They are. Do you know what? I think we must be due another one soon, mustn't we? Oh, it must be. Where was, what was the last Sarah signature launch? To, no, oh, no, she it, had was, it was very thoughts, recent. It was actually recently. just recently, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we had We must be thoughts. due another Nature's Garden then in that case. Because we had Woodland Friends, didn't we? That was about mm, four, six weeks ago now. Was it before Christmas or after Christmas? It was before after. Christmas. After. Was it after Christmas? After. You're wishing your life flies, away, doesn't Joe. It? I know. I just want more signature collections in uh, Nature's Garden. What can I say? That's what I need. I need those in my life. Uh, and I'm just, I, I'm fed up of waiting. In fact, I'm going to try. Now, they don't tell me. I would say I'll go and find out what they are tomorrow, the next ones. And but I, I'm not, I won't you. be in the know. Won't be in the know. <laughs> Do you know, Johnny, what they are? <laughs> no, on the need to know basis, Fiona. You got any idea? Oh, I couldn't possibly oh, comment. Oh, Fiona's got all the info. Couldn't uh, possibly Fiona, comment. Fiona strikes me as the type of person. She's great. I reckon Fiona would be really good at keeping secrets. She'd be like, you know, I've just got no will, I'm afraid, when it comes to <laughs> gossip, Fiona. It so just what I'm flows out of my, uh, flows from my uh, veins just so too easily. Yeah, I, I must admit, I, 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 some days I do get very, very excited about all of this. We may not get a chance to put this together, but I'm going to have a jolly good go at cutting it out. Right, okay, so this is our rose glitter card. Um, it's from our luxury collection. It's, it's a luxury pack. It's called Luxury Metallics. You'll find it on the website. It is gorgeous. You know, there is always something that you can use with all the bits and pieces. So I've got the ornate die, I've got the frame. Just for speed, I am going to pop that on there. Fiona's going to stay all evening there. crafting, you know. I think that's what she's going to do. She's having too much fun with these, uh, having too much fun with these pencils. It's raining outside. Uh, she's not going to run back to the car in the rain. She's going to stay here and craft for the rest of the evening, Fiona. I think that's Absolutely. Happen, don't you? Uh, whilst you're just putting that together, Fiona, I just will whiz through what we have got left, really. Uh, the Rose Garden, uh, Rose Gold, sorry, uh, collection is on your screen at the moment. Got, got an awesome shaker card in there. So you've got stamp dies in there, the stamps, the sentiment dies, uh, the frames in there as well. A really gorgeous, uh, succinct collection of the Rose Garden collection. Rose gold collection we have also had uh, as well uh, the embossing folders remember those three awesome embossing folders it wasn't a choice at this price you're getting all three of them which is quite unbelievable 1048 or 1492 uh, we also had the color tint pencils on the show uh, an awesome deal here on these a lot of the stocks gone here 16.99 or well, 2295 should get you one tin of these. It doesn't, it gets you two tins, which is fantastic value for money. Uh, you are going to get the nature and the primary. Uh, and also, uh, the un this is the only other thing we've got, isn't it? The collage stamps, which are a fantastic uh, variation of different stamp styles in one collection. You've got Born to Fly and Cherish Every Moment there for 999 or 14.95 eight pounds if you're a club inspired platinum member oh back to fiona have you done it already there you go there Boom. you go i was determined i was determined to put it down so it looked like it so you've got your ornate frame you've got your love die there you've got that lovely folder in the background and that beautiful stamp and die set really? so yeah have fun Really, really gorgeous. Such a lovely card. Uh, Fiona, it's been an absolute pleasure to spend the day uh, with you uh, here today. And yesterday as well. We've had yeah. a lovely couple of days. When might we expect you back here on Crafters TV? Do you know? 
I'm back up on the 13th. 13th. She says, of February. Ooh, yeah, in a couple wait. of weeks' time. So I'm away down south to the borough and then back up here again. Awesome. Uh, well, we look forward to that. I don't know if I'm here on today. I think I might be off opening copious, getting ready to open copious amounts of Valentine's cards the next day, Ooh. obviously. Uh, because I, oh, I haven't had any for years, so I don't know why I'm thinking that's going to be the case this time. Uh, a <laughs> massive thank you uh, to Fiona. Big thank you to the team uh, in the gallery as well. They're not in that cupboard, by the way. Uh, they're the <laughs> other side of the wall over there, just in case you're thinking, he has really lost it now. Uh, and also, uh, a big thank you to all of you guys, of course, at home. I'll see you back here tomorrow with Jan in the morning for a fabulous, up to 40% off craft and then a whole host of other fabulous sh shows all the way through the day. If you're here in the UK and in Europe, enjoy the rest of your evening. If you're in the US, have a great day and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Take care.